Hey guys, welcome to the Able Farmer channel. Uh, I just got home and uh, we have a little bit of drama going on here uh, the last three days. Tuesday I was in here working on the uh, peacock pen and I've actually gotten a lot of work done on it. I've got the post in and I've got the uh, fence around it and I actually moved the peacocks in and I also got the net over the top. Uh, anyway, Tuesday, three days ago, uh, I was in there working. I was trying to build a little shelter to get so they'd be able to get out in, you know, into the shade. Eventually, I'm gonna build a uh, an actual coop for them, and I have actually bought all the materials to do it. I just I just need a little bit of time to get it put together. But I dropped something in there, and I spooked my peacocks. And my pea hen actually flew up, and she went straight through the net, and flew up and landed in a tree about 40 feet up in the air. And uh, I was mortified. <laughs> I was like. Uh, I don't know how in the world we're going to get her back. And three days later, I still don't have her back. Um, yesterday, I, uh, she did come down. And yesterday, I was chasing her around with the fish net. And she got back up in the tree again. And I did not get her. And my only hope is that she doesn't leave the mail. Um, because, you know, they've been together since birth. So, I don't think she's going to leave him. So, as long as I keep him in there, that's... That's my goal, at least. Uh, she won't go anywhere. Uh, if they're both loose, it'd probably be a different story. Obviously, the net I have on the top, it was pretty cheap, and uh, it's thin, and I am definitely going to go online, and I'm going to order me a more heavy-duty net. So this doesn't happen again. I uh, just got home, just kind of been looking around, trying to see where she is. She's not out here on the ground. Um, so... We're, uh, we're just going to kind of look around. Maybe she's up in the trees. Um, so we're going to look around for her, and hopefully we can come up with a way to try to catch her. So uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's look around. There she is, up on that branch. What are the chances? Of me being able to get her down onto the ground. I tried this yesterday and she just flew up higher in the tree. So, uh, <laughs> um, I'm gonna give it a shot. Sneak back around. I'm gonna sneak back around over here. We just gotta get her on the ground. She wants to stay up in these trees. And obviously, I cannot catch her in the trees. Shay, hope she's falling. Stay back, Olivia. See her there? <laughs> Olivia, go back by the dogs. Oh my gosh, she's on the ground. Olivia, where are you going? We got to get her to go in that door. Alright, open this door right here. And you stand right there at that corner. 
goes around that door, you walk her in, okay? Okay. Oh, I got her! <laughs> I'm going! Oh, finally! We caught it out! <laughs> we got her. We got her. Is the camera still on? Yeah. Oh, the battery's about dead. Oh, I'm so happy. Whoa, battery just died. <laughs> Talk about uh, good timing. Uh, no idea how that turned out, so hopefully that footage turned out all right for you. But, uh, oh, I'm super glad to get her. I've been stressing out over her being out uh, the last three days. I thought for sure she was gone. Because uh, if you haven't been around peacocks, they're not like chickens. You can't just, at least mine, you can't just throw feet out on the ground. They just come running. Uh, they're a pretty shy bird. Um, but I'm very thankful that we got her back because obviously, you know, I have a lot of money in them. And also, I was lucky enough to get a pair. And if you lose one, you no longer have a pair. So I'm just going to show you real quick the peacock pen that I built, even though they got out. But I'll go ahead and show you that. All right, there it is. It's on the end of my turkey coop. You can see I just built off the end. And the chicken tractor, now that the uh, peacocks are out of there, I'm able to put the uh, little chicks that we hatched in here. You can see, you can see they're in here eating right there. So there's the little chicks. But to show you the peacock pen here, uh, you see I got my door. Okay, I'm gonna be very careful here because this is what happened last time was I spooked them and she flew up and I have a net right here I don't know if that shows up on camera but you see that net and it's pretty thin it's a cheap net that's the problem when you get cheap and I should have known better I'm definitely gonna get something better but uh but she flew up and she hit that net and she busted straight through it and I am gonna order a new one and I am not going to press my luck look at that, they're just pacing back and forth but you see, they're just kind of—they're kind of a nervous bird. But uh, they're also not used to being out here, so I think it might take a little while um, until they get acclimated to being outside more. I got a dog crate in here because I had a theory that if I put him in a crate and left the door open, maybe she would come. Uh, she come down here and go back in her pen, and I could just run out here and shut it. But you see that little shelter, if you call it that? It's a piece of crap, is what it is. But I slapped it together in about—I don't know. 10 minutes and uh, I just did that to make sure they had a little bit of shade they can get under and if it rained maybe to get get under and I am going to build a permanent shelter in here um, and I have kind of an idea in my head it's going to be sort of a miniature version of that right there the turkey coop um, but yeah I'm really happy to have her back and uh, yeah so I'm definitely going to upgrade the net uh, that is by far far a weak point and um, we can't be having that so and in fact I may clip their wings just, just to make sure this doesn't happen again because she got up in that tree and I, I, I can't I can't get her when they're up there so anyway I do have a couple things I want to show you real quick all right we are inside the tricky coop you can see this guy up here my main Tom uh, but anyway, you see here, I, I slapped together a uh, nesting box in here because last year they were just laying eggs down in the dirt. 
And uh, these midget white turkeys, I haven't touched on these midget white turkeys in a while. Um, some of you guys from the beginning, that's how I kind of got started on here. But uh, the midget white turkeys are very good mothers. And you can see here that she is sitting on some eggs. You see right there. And honestly, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know if they're going to hatch or not. But she already hatched out three baby turkeys. And I'm going to go up and show them to you. But I decided to take them from her because I didn't know if they would survive out here. I didn't know if the other turkeys would mess with them. I didn't know if they would get out under the cracks, you know, along the uh, coop here and not be able to get back in. And I just thought they stood a better chance if I went ahead and brought them in and put them in a brooder. But I'm going to take, uh, take you up there and look. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out as a reminder... Um, I have two male midget white turkeys, you can see right here, and then I have two female midget white turkeys, and I still have my bourbon red female right there, and uh, that's all I have. I have all midget white turkeys with the exception of that bourbon red female, and I, that's important because I'm going to go up there and show you guys the baby poults, so um, let's go check that out. All right. Woo! Oh. <laughs> Ooh, it's hard. Woo! All right. You see here are the baby turkeys, and I'm, I pointed out the bourbon red turkey because you can see these are obviously a cross between that bourbon red turkey and a midget white turkey. So that'd be really interested. That will be really interesting, that is, uh, to see how they turn out. So I guess these are midget white bourbons, would be my guess. So that's pretty cool. And then this one here is obviously a purebred midget white turkey. And uh, I think that's pretty neat. Alright guys, well that's the video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I hope you guys hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Uh, tomorrow we're going to go on a little trip. And we're going to pick up a puppy. And yeah! I'm, going, I, I'm going to uh, document that as well. And uh, maybe that will be part of my next video. So you guys can check that out. So uh, anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Goodbye, cool cats and kittens. <laughs>